What's up you guys and welcome back to Clever Style. Lauren and Drew here for a very special day. And not just because we get to be together in studio. We got tested. tested. But also because it is the 2020 Billboard Music Awards. And what are we gonna do about that? Talk about the fashion, of course. That's right, dirty laundry. Right now. Today's video is brought to you by the new Biore Brightening Collection. Brighter skin in one week. Miss Kelly Clarkson, our host of the evening. Oh, love her. I've been waiting for a moment like this. The sleeves are a lot, but I will say like, she does have a country vibe to her But I do stuff. like that. I think the fringe is kind of like disco ball, yeah. cowboy Barbie, and I'm kind of digging it. Disco cowboy. This is fun, I love fringe. Do you hate fringe? I like fringe. I would like it even better if it's chainmail. I'm not sure if it is. And it's glitter, it's your favorite color. I like it. Or sparkle. She she looks amazing just as a whole. Yeah. I like her hair. I like the, uh, her stance. I like it on her, but I'm confused as to what the black part under because it looks like it's like an undershirt. I mean, yeah, there is a lot going on with the sleeves, the fringe, the yeah, shoulder pads, the, the fact that it's reflective. Yeah, but she looks good. She's I mean, show stopping. Yes, and she's hosting tonight. So obviously, she's like, look True. at me. I am the shiniest apple in the apple basket because I am the host. Is that a common thing that people I say? I just made it up. Up, but if you guys want to steal it, go for it. The sleeves, I'm living for. I'm not a big fan of um, puffy shoulders. The shoulder but pads. But this looks really good on her because it kind of is like a sharp edge, right? It's not like yeah. a, a senator puff shoulder. It's like a edgy, like a performance puff shoulder. Okay, see ya. Wow. It looks like Top Ramen. It does kind of look like Top Ramen. On her head. Like it's going to be May, Justin Timberlake, Top Ramen. Oh, this is crazy. It's like a bow. Are there two bows? There are two bows, girl. And it's monochromatic except for the bow on top. Yes, and there's puffy sleeves and a train. It's almost like a cloak yeah. of sorts, you know? This is the biggest hair bow I've ever seen the in my life. The biggest bow. It's like cartoonish. It's that big, but she kind of rocks it. I kind of don't mind a giant bow, to be honest with you. No, it's, I mean, it's so Sia. Sia never likes to be shown. I know for like a really long time, she's been hiding her face to the public. Remember, she had like the hair lampshade. So this is just her 2020 take. This is giving me camp. This is giving me Met Gala. It's giving me Muppet. It's giving yes. me life-size doll. It is the old Sia and maybe Lady Gaga are like the only two people I want to see do something this weird. I love the hair. I love that the the dress is like a bow. It looks like couture. You know what it kind of looks like though? Like if you're at a sleepover and you just like wrapped yourself in the blanket. Yeah, she looks really cozy. Yeah, she, she really, really does. And her performance was so beautiful. She's always giving us drama. She's giving us a message. She's giving us bow. Yeah. It's wrapped and her, up. It's edutainment. Edu edutainment. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. You love olive green. Yeah, green I'm loving right now. I don't think that's camo. No, it's not camo, like... but it's like camo vibes. The yeah, hat. It's, yes, it's like um, like a satin curtain. <laughs> At first glance, I thought it was like camo, but it looks like it's like silk pajamas. And floral. There's like a floral metallic print happening. Mm -hmm. She always does a good job of just like Everything matches, so of course her face mask is gonna match her whole ensemble. Mm -hmm. Those nails. I was just about to say they match the nails. Dude, those could kill someone. Even though her style is so different, it's always unique. So, like everything she wears is always very different from the things she wore before. Mm. And I always appreciate when fashion is different because I get over trends really fast. Yes. I get annoyed by trends after like five minutes. Yeah, and you can't, it's like we can't even call this a trend. No. This is just something that she thought looked cool. She yeah. I like this color. Her eyes and her eyebrows look amazing. Yeah. Like she has just the most stunning face her and the most stunning do. eyes and eyebrows like she looks gorgeous and she's not even showing she her face. She should have won a Billboard award for her freaking eyebrows. Yeah. That's how amazing they are. Okay, so this is Julia Michaels clearly rocking the very popular loofah Halloween costume that was made big circa 2018. I was gonna say, it's very loofah chic. I love everything about this. I love her makeup, I love her jewels, I love the tattoos, I love like her hair. I, I, literally despise this dress. <laughs> she is giving us a dramatic cat eye. I believe I see black and white liner. Dude, you know she's been watching those TikTok videos about how to make your eyebrows stand up because her eyebrows look phenomenal. That is a hack that she is mastering. I'm sure she hired a makeup artist. But he it. probably watched the TikTok <laughs> hacks too. <laughs> probably, Drew. probably. Really fun. I mean, are those her tattoos or part of the outfit? I can't tell. Ooh, I don't know. I, if those are her tattoos, I dig it. I also like her tattoo sleeve. I know it's not part of the dress, but her her skin just 
looks good with the loofah. I like shoes like this, which are kind of like bad girl leather, almost yeah. what look like biker shoes. I like stuff like that with a princessy short dress. Yeah. So I actually really like the combination. It's not something that you would wear like to Target. Lil Nas X <sighs> just has a very special place in my heart. Why is that? I love him. I think he always brings it. He like takes the, you can wear whatever you want, do you to the next level and he does it very well. He's so cute. I that feel like so this is his style. I feel yeah. like I've seen him in something like this before. He likes neon, he likes bright colors. I think mm -hmm. he likes snake skin. He definitely yeah, has done he this before. He definitely wears a lot of snake skin. Yeah. I love this. I feel like this is a throwback to the 70s. I'm getting Bootsy oh, Collins vibes. I'm getting James Brown vibes. I'm getting Alleluia. everybody. The pink and green. I like that he mixes kind of different decades. Like he's got a little bit of 50s, 60s, like Motown vibe, but also yes. like the snake skin is very um, like 80s and like he resonates as like a, kind of like a really hot, awesome hippie as well. Do I see a jerry curl up there? I was wondering what his hair is doing. It feels like it's it's like a little uh, to the side, you know, a little floop. I feel like we got to oh. let your soul glow. And that's good. And make your hair so silky smooth. Somebody's gonna get that reference. It's very bright and fun and it's like really happy. Mm -hmm. And there's something very, like it gives me a little bit of serotonin boost. I know, I was gonna know? say it actually makes me really happy, but it's also like him as a human being yeah. is so freaking cute. I, like, I, I want to see so him cute. like walk down the street singing Walking on Sunshine. Doja Cat, this is very much giving me the like Britney Spears toxic nude bedazzled mm -hmm. bodysuit mm -hmm. thing from like 2003, which I was always obsessed with. Mm -hmm. It looks like her outfit is painted on her until we get to the skirt. Yep. The first thing I'm noticing, funny enough, on this dress skirt situation, uh -huh. the bottom has the like dangly jewel beads. Mm -hmm. That is so 90s, and yes. I'm obsessed with it. Her makeup Makeup looks flawless. Her eyes are, yeah, that's like the makeup just makes her eyes look big. Like the they're hair, popping. That, yo, the hair looks good. Whoever laid that hair did a good job. Also, her hair is so freaking immaculate. Yes. Like it's, there's not a single hair out of place. That's so true. It's honestly like impressive when somebody's hair is that sleek. You know, I always have flyaways. I don't have the kind of money. Yeah, no, me neither. I love her hair. I love her makeup. It's really interesting. It's like a, Burnt orange. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's really pretty. Also, I just like a painted on look. Yeah, same. And I love lavender. This is really pretty. This would be something I'd be stressed to wear out in public just for fear of like, how do you go to the bathroom? One of those yeah, types of things. Yeah, it's incredible though. But no, that's why nobody's approaching me to wear it. They just know I can't handle the pressure. So I'm glad that Doja Cat <laughs> stepped up to the plate, was like, I'm gonna do the hair, I'm gonna do the brows, I'm gonna do the dress, I'm gonna do the jewels at the bottom, I'm gonna wear shoes. I wish the dress was all the way to the ground though, like a little bit of a train. Yeah, I guess the only thing I would love to see, because I love how the top is, does feel like it's painted on her. Mm -hmm. How fun would that be if it did that like all the way down? I'm ashamed mm. that I haven't spent more time st staring Stocking. at this woman. She is so pretty. Yeah, I need a makeup tutorial on YouTube tomorrow. Thank you. Ah, oh, oh, Lizzo. God, I love her. I love this. I love this. I love the message. Please mm -hmm. go out and vote if you are able to. And she, she's letting the people know. And I love it and I loved her speech. I love everything about her. This is just such a great dress. I love the thought behind the dress. I'd be interested to know what brand this is because right. I think it's done really well. Like it doesn't look like, like I still think it's fashionable at AF. You know how many people are gonna rip off this dress? It's gonna be online tomorrow. Oh, like, I'm you're gonna ready be able to buy this. At Fashion Nova. In, yep, I'm <laughs> ready in the morning to purchase this yeah. dress. <laughs> I loved her speech. I love this outfit. She looks great. She always looks so happy. So happy. She wears her happiness like so well. And, and she's I'm, vegan, I found out. Really? Yeah, TikTok. Wow, so the fact that she's vegan and she looks this happy is <laughs> impressive. <laughs> okay, Lauren, you know the drill. It is time for our favorites. Okay, Let you, the go, people know. you go first. You want first. me to go first? Yeah. Okay, it's a tie for me between Little Nas X uh -huh. and Lizzo. Yeah. I loved both of those looks. <sighs> What are you gonna do? I I, I agree, but I, I really like Sia's weird thing going. Mm -hmm. I think you're right for me. It's a tie between Lizzo, of course. I think she just wins by default. Mm -hmm. But also Kelly Clarkson's dress just felt very out of the box for her, which sometimes if you do something out of your comfort zone, it doesn't always pay off, and I think it paid off really well for her. All right, some tough competition, but the edge goes to Lil Nas X. Like you said, he is our sexy iguana. He looks so good. And I just love him so much. He can do no wrong. He's in also my like eyes. sexy cactus. He he was one of my top runners for front runners for sure. I also am gonna say I loved Doja Cat. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. There was something really nostalgic, really 2000s. I love her makeup because for me, I don't really personally 
relate to the overdone like hair, big everything. So for me, this just really spoke to me and made me feel really yeah. sexy. Yeah. Okay, you guys, that is a wrap <sighs> for our 2020 Billboard Music Awards Dirty Laundry. It's just like riding a bike, Drew. We are back. We're back in the saddle. We're back next to each other. Thanks for watching. And as per usual, your laundry is officially dirty. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please click right on over here for even more Clever Style. And thank you again to Biore Skincare for sponsoring this episode. Be sure to try their brightening collection for brighter skin in one week, y'all.